everybody welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to show you how to paint a simple snowman landscape and it's going to be easy to follow step by step for all levels of painters so if you're a beginner out there you can do this we're going to start with cobalt blue and titanium white I'm going to take a large blending brush this is my chalk paint brush I really like this brush you can find them at um, any arts and crafts store online and even sometimes in home improvement stores in the paint section so I'll just get it a little bit wet. Oh, and I should also mention we're working on an 11 by 14 canvas. And I'm gonna take my white and I'm just gonna start pulling and blending my white around to create a nice base. Now when I come in with my blue, it's gonna be a really light violety blue. And this is gonna look really nice with the other colors that we're using in this painting today. We're gonna to have a lot of different pastel colors. Overall, it's just gonna be a really colorful painting. And I'm gonna pull into my cobalt blue and I'm gonna start coming around the sides, sort of creating a frame. So see how we have that white inside that we added first? So we get a really nice, soft, natural gradation. Okay, so now we've got a nice base here. I'm gonna start by coming in with some trees in the background and even a little lamppost. I think that might just add some character to this painting and a little bit of whimsy. So let's take, you know, I've really been liking using filbert brushes for painting trees lately. And I'm gonna add a little bit of sap green. All right, so we've got a little bit of blue, a little bit of green. It makes a gorgeous, almost a, just a really deep, almost phthalo green. So maybe we'll have a lamppost here, but first we're gonna come in with some trees. So I'll just start with a, a flowy, few flowy lines like this. Now the paint underneath is wet, so that's gonna make this really fun and interesting because every time, see I just pull and flick up, we're getting different tones. We're pulling a little bit of that existing paint that's on the canvas in with our green blue mixture so this is going to make for some really pretty frosty looking trees of course if you want yours to be darker and you don't want to be picking up that paint <clears throat> excuse me underneath then you can just take the time to dry your painting off first and then you can go ahead and do that so i'm just going to push and tap get some soft looking trees in here and we can add another one right here so it's nice to make your trees all a little bit different see how we've just set this one behind and brought this one forward we've overlapped we're putting the branches in front and they're showing up more because i used a little bit more paint and let's come over to this side now so you can do a little tree trunk like this you can do a tree trunk like a little line first for a tree trunk or you can just start adding your branches without a tree trunk underneath that's kind of a fun way to paint trees too especially uh, wintertime trees because it just gives it more of that snow covered look so I'll demonstrate that I'm just going to start at the top leave a spot in between so you really don't need to have a tree trunk at all to make some snowy looking trees now maybe we'll just do soft little flicks now keep in mind you're going to be covering up part of these trees in the background so don't do anything that you are going to be sad painting over later on this is just Part of the background and it's important we need this here because there will be little 
bits and pieces of the background peeking through in between our little snowmen. We can pull a little bit of what's left over in our brush for some shadows, maybe. A little bit like that. And I think I'm just going to take a little bit of white and maybe just create a little crescent moon here. I'm just going to sort of make this up as I go along. I have an idea, of course, in mind of um, two snowmen, a female and a male. Okay, there, I'll leave it like that. And I'm going to dry this off and then I'm going to add some soft layers of snow over top of the trees. Okay, we're ready. So I'm just going to add a little bit of white here and I'm going to start just dabbing lightly. Now, when you're adding your snow on your trees, I know it can be a little bit scary for some people. They think that they have to be super careful and neat and tidy about it, but you really don't. This is when you can afford to be a little bit messy because snow is messy and kind of gives your trees a better look to them if the snow looks like it's sort of just been dumped on them and sort of slapped on there. I've really been enjoying creating these winter wonderland paintings lately. I don't think I've ever painted so many winter landscapes in such a short amount of time. But I know a lot of us need a little bit more inspiration for Christmas this year and something to uplift our spirits, you know, during this pandemic. And many of you are in lockdown and I'm trying to bring you guys some comfort and something to take your mind off of, you know, possibly being stuck at home and not able to be with your loved ones and friends. So together we can kind of just get away from it all and lose ourselves in our love of painting and creating pretty places, just an escape. So I'm just loading on this titanium white you know, you can use any white you want. I always use titanium. It's my preferred choice because it's so bright. And I like, I like the option of being able to start off with a really bright white. And then if I want to tone it, I can add any color to it to make it a different shade of white. And I'm just going to brush a little bit of white here just to add some light hitting some areas. And we'll finish up with this last tree over here. I'm gonna leave it really thick there because I like the way that looks. That's all up to you guys, how much snow you wanna have on your trees. If you wanna have more of a a softer frosted or light snow look then just add skinnier layers so you'll just tap with the end of your brush rather than pushing when you push you're making your paintbrush leave a thicker amount of paint or why you're covering a wider area and then we've got this little one that you can barely see but watch what happens when we leave a little bit of or when we add a little bit of white on there It'll show up a little bit more. And even, we can even add a little bit in here too. Let's just add a tree right here. A few little trees back here. It's our little world that we can create anything that we want. And I'm gonna add I'm going to paint um, a lamp post right in here. I think we'll have one that lives right here. I'm going to take, actually, you know what? I'm going to use, this is quite dark, so we can go ahead and just use this, the blue and the green with no water on your brush. Just make it really, really thick and rich in okay. color. 
and let's say starts about there and then gets thicker so to make it thinner barely put any pressure on the canvas and then it's gonna slightly get wider okay and then don't worry about the base because we'll just have a little bit of snow covering that so if it's see-through like this just keep adding layers of paint so we're gonna have a shadow as well i'm gonna take my my cobalt blue and if the moonlight is kind of hitting in here let's say our shadow i'll just make this up maybe we've got a shadow falls right about there a little something simple like that and then we can add some snow just some white we have a little bit kind of going up whoops let's get rid of that and then we can also take a little bit of white on our brush and add some little lines in here and they're going to be a little bit white on the tops of them so that it looks like we've got a little bit of frost or snow and then this is going to be the top this will be the bottom of our little lamp and then we're going to come in, in, in like that. And then we'll have a little triangle on top. So you can make your lamp post as whimsical as you want. You can add as much character to yours as you want just by adding little curly designs on them or extra lines like this. But right now I'm going to switch over to my liner brush. Okay, so for the inside of our lamp post, I'm going to use my Luminous Yellow Warm. This is a really nice color to choose for lighting in cabins, cottages, lamp posts. I'm going to take a little scoop of my yellow and my white. And I'm going to just kind of go inside here. And work the remainder of the paint out of my brush. So it's really natural looking, right? And then I'm going to add a little bit of white right inside. And you guys know what I like to do. I like to reflect the light that color that we've used on everything around, like the base. Take a little bit more white. Now you wanna have more white than the yellow because it's over top of blue and you don't wanna make green, right? Yellow and blue make green, we don't want that to happen. So we just want to add this pretty color casting down here. I mean, yeah, our snowman's going to be right there, so you don't have to do too much, but we can come in and add um, hints of this on our snowman as well. And I'm going to add a little bit of this light glowing color just around here to create that pretty, pretty light effect, like it's glowing and you have that softness okay so now I'm gonna come in with my liner brush and I'm gonna grab my dark color again and I'm gonna go right underneath these lines and be careful because this is gonna take a while to dry I need to it really helps me to um, 
put my pinky or my, my finger rest my knuckle there when I'm trying to make straight little lines and details. But it's not helpful if it's wet underneath and I end up making a big mess. Okay, so now I'm going to come on the top. And we'll come up and we'll add some little curly things like that. And then we'll do our little triangle. And you don't have to make it totally solid inside either because you can like right about here. But then as we come up here, there could be some frost and possibly some snow. I'm just going to do a little, little, almost like two little ovals and then just a little pointy thing on the top. Now with a little bit of water on my brush, but hardly any at all. I'm going to take the rest of that paint in my brush and I'm going to make a lighter shade down here. Now it's going to be lighter just because it's glass. There is some iron in here, like wrought iron for the lamp, um, but we've got that glow happening, right? Okay, so for our snowman, we're going to start it down low here and I'm going to start the female right here. She can be on this side. So this is the first circle. We'll just paint it in and then we'll layer over top with the second one. And then her head right there. And now down here, I'm just going to brush a little bit of white, what's left in my brush, and just working it out, making it look like she's set in the snow there. So we'll have a few little areas that come up here, that way it looks like she's not floating, like she, she's, that snow's in, set in a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of my warm yellow again and I'm just going to start tapping in some warmer white tones here. Again, following with that, that color from the lamp post. Bring it over here, maybe a little bit here in the foreground, a little bit of that here and there. All right, and I'm just going to go ahead and use my same light blue. I'm just going to tap this way. I'm leaving some spaces. Just little taps like this. And then on to the next one and the next one. A little something like that. Okay, so I've got a little round brush now. I'm going to take my blue. I'm going to add a little button here. One here, here, here. We'll give her three. And we can add a little bit of snow, maybe some snow on them. And 
I'm gonna add a little bit more white. around the outside. I kind of lost this one, so let's just bring a little bit more blue on here. And then she's gonna be wearing a little hat. And I think it's gonna be like a little Santa hat. Well, let's just say it's blue now. We can always come in after and and add a little bit more. Take some white. Create that fluff. And we'll give her some eyes. A little line like that. A little line like that. And then kind of a half circle. And let's give her some eyelashes. Why not? Those little light lines gonna go underneath here a little bit and let's add a little smile let's give her eyes a little highlight with some light so just a little white dab there and maybe one right there. Coming in with some blue, just to make this stand out a little bit more. And that part's a bit see-through, so we need to fix that, don't we? And let's add a little bit more white, push that up a little bit. Now she needs a carrot for her nose. So I'm taking my warm yellow. I'm gonna push a little triangle and pull out and up. And I'm going to tint my orange, or my yellow, sorry, with a little bit of green and blue because carrots aren't this color, but they need a shadow. And then I'll come over and add some more. I think that's pretty cute. She needs some arms and she also needs a pretty scarf. And I also want to add some pink to her cheeks. So I'm going to be using some neon red. And I actually really like this luminous rose. It's kind of a purpley magenta color. Very pretty. So. I will use that for her scarf. So let's take, see a little goes a really long way with this neon paint. Take a little bit. And I'm gonna actually wipe the excess off, then I can just sort of scumble and dry brush this in. To make her face come out a little bit more. Let's take some of our white. There we go. Add a little bit of blue there. A little bit more. my dark colors and make her eyes stand out just a little bit more. There. Okay, so for her arms, 
I'm gonna take, I'm gonna try and make brown with these colors. So I'll do my, that's more of a, sort of more of a brown color, isn't it? I use the pink left on my brush, luminous yellow, and a little bit of cobalt blue. There, that'll work. So we'll just come down. Maybe her arm will be here. It's going to be covered up here with her scarf. And I think we'll give her a mitten. Let's give her one of violet, this violet purple colored mitten. Maybe that can match her scarf. I like that. And. Add a little bit more here. And let's come in with her scarf now. It looks like it's wrapped around. a little bit of light right there. Let's go over that with some more purple or my luminous rose. It's kind of a purpley color. Just adding more to her mitten because it looks a little bit see-through. Maybe we can put like a little heart on her hat and I'll take my pink again, neon red and white. Be a little bit more generous with the red this time. Put it on the tip of my brush and maybe we'll have a heart right there. So the blue underneath is still wet. Um, so we picked up a little bit of that. I'm just gonna dry this off. I'm gonna wait for that to dry just a little bit more, but I wanna add a shadow to her arm. So I'm gonna take a bit of my blue, anything just to make it a little bit darker. right in there okay and maybe we can put a little bit of snow on her arm too just take a little bit got a little area here of light luminous yellow A little that on there. And I'm just gonna come up a little bit higher here for her face. And now I'll go back to my pink color and a thin layer in here. It's still a little bit wet and while I've got some white on here I'm just gonna add another highlight to her and maybe some of this golden light Casting down from up here. OK, 
Okay. Let's start painting him. Now he's going to come kind of in front of her. And we'll make him a little bit taller and bigger. Take some blue and we'll tap inside. A little bit like that. Add some shadows. like snow if you just tap away like this. Add a little bit more white there. And we'll take those same colors, our darks. And his nose, we'll just do the sort of outline now. And then his smile. Like that. A line that goes down. And then up. Give him some buttons. And while I've got a dark color in here, I'm just gonna add a bit of a shadow in her other arm. We'll be kind of going around him. We won't see everything. And he's going to have an arm that's going to come out here too. And his scarf. Now what color should we paint his scarf? I have a couple of options. I've got this bright green. Maybe I'll take both. And a little scoop of each color. Wiggle, pull around, some little tassels there and then wherever we want a shadow we can just use that dark color our green and blue little green and blue just like this
and maybe we'll give him a red Santa hat. So my neon red will come around here. There we go, some white. For the trim, the fluff on his hat. And a little fluff ball for the end of his hat. And I add a little bit more to hers. And it looks a little bit pink right now because it mixed in a little bit with the red on the hat, but we'll wait for that to dry. Let's give him some rosy looking cheeks too. And he needs a nose. We need to add a carrot for his nose. So back to my luminous yellow here. I'm just going to take my even tail filbert, it's got those spaces, and I'm going to make the tassels on his scarf stand out a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to take some more of my luminous. Yellow, some white. Add some highlights. Just tapping in a little bit here and there. And a little bit of warmth in here as well. Just taking a little bit of my turquoise and white, add highlight. scarf a little bit more green and blue for his buttons and make his look like his arms going around her and then hers going around his and then we've got his other one Coming up here, we'll give him a red mitten. And I've got a little bit of green 
and blue on my brush so I can come in and add some shadows for his hat. Add some fur trim on his mitten. Add a little bit more to our noses. And I'm just going to come right on top of some of that snow there. Make that stand out a little bit more. Just taking a little bit of my blue and white. Make his arm a little bit bigger. make it look like she's got a her scarf tied in a bow that's pretty too and we can give her some tassels maybe we'll have him holding um a little stick a walking stick maybe let's take all my dark colors Make brown, nice warm chocolatey brown. And maybe we'll have a crookedy looking stick like this. We'll put his thumb around it by adding a little bit more of our red in front. We could add a little bit of snow. A little bit of white. A little bit of snow like that. What can we put on the top? Maybe, maybe we could have it kind of going down like this. Add a little bit of snow on the top of that. Maybe we'll have a little, a little light that he's holding. A larger lamppost and then a, a smaller one here. Why not? So again, we just do that same shape. And a few little lines inside. Add a bit of white right in the center. And then a little bit more of the yellow. Here, that's kind of cute. Let's come in here with a little bit more of my darks. Just add a little bit of turquoise, cobalt blue, and white for a highlight on her on her hat. More turquoise though. I think be a nice color to add for a little highlight.
as I think. I'm just about ready to call this done. I could add a little bit of snow up there or we could just leave it. Everything else has snow on it. We could add a little bit here as well. And just with a dry brush. And a little bit of frost. Just adding a tiny bit of my pink to my yellow here. And we'll create an, another little glow. a little bit of light there. Okay, I'm gonna call this one done. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me. Hope you have fun painting this and I'll see you next time soon in another video. Merry Christmas and happy holidays everybody. Bye!